In this video, we're going to have a look at SQL Server Analysis Services, the tabular model, and how it compares with Power BI and Power Pivot. Hello, SSAS Tabular allows you to create models which can then be queried in places such as Power BI and Excel. So let's have a quick look around SSAS Tabular. So first of all, we need a back engine installed. This is what's actually going to do the work. So that would be SQL Server Enterprise, Standard, or Developer Edition. So notably, we haven't got Express or Web versions. Now, you can only have one variant of SSAS installed on a particular instance, the MDX, Multidimensional Expressions version, or this, the Tabular version. So I access SSAS through the free Visual Studio in this case, the 2022 edition, and through an extension, the Microsoft Analysis Services Projects extension. Then you can create a project, and then you can import your data. Now, all of the functionality is within the extensions menu. Earlier versions may have their own model, table, and column menu. But in 2022, it's all in the extensions menu. So in model, you can import from a data source. So here you can see the various data sources you can use, including Excel and text. Once you've imported the data, you can then go into the model view and add relationships between the various tables. Following that, you can then add additional columns. These are calculated columns, and you can also add measures. So these measures are calculations. So we use functions which are similar to those in Excel, but then have extended functionality such as some X. So having a look at this measure, for example, yesterday sales amount is the sum of the sales amount in this table, fact internet sales, based on the previous day. So it gives me the previous day's sales. Now this language is called DAX, D-A-X, and that is also used for calculated columns. For example, this column gives me the word product key followed by the product key itself, which you can then manipulate. So here I've added a thousand and formatted it with two decimal places. Here I have got the due date, but formatted in Spanish. Once you've created your model, you can then analyze it in Excel. So typically through a pivot table. So here you can see an analysis of due date, the sales amount for the current date, the sales amount for the previous day, and then the difference between the current day and the previous day's sales. Additionally, you can do other things in SSAS. If I go to the properties tab, you can format, for example, dates. So I will format this date to a particular style or you can format numbers. So this has been formatted with the currency format. In addition, you can also add perspectives. So that is a reduced set of tables and columns. So not everybody sees the same data. For example, you might not want everybody to be able to see the salary information, but you might want your HR team to be able to do so. You can also hide tables, maybe you have brought information in from one table into another table and now no longer need the other tables. You can also hide individual columns. So here I have put year, month and day into a hierarchy and then I have hidden the original columns. Now the creation of calculated columns and measures is also used in Power BI and Power Pivot. So if we have a look at Power BI, then I can add a calculated column or measure in the modeling menu. I can also add it by clicking the dot 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 next to the table and select new measure, new column or new quick measure. Now there is similar functionality in Excel itself. So if I go to the Power Pivot tab, you can see I can manage a data model. I can also do this by going to the data tab and data model. So if I click on manage data model, 
a new window appears, which is called Power Pivot for Excel. And this too allows me to import data from various sources and then connect them up together in a model. We can also connect tables in a model in Power BI as well. So if I go to the model tab, here we can see all of my tables, in this case, not connected together, they are separate. And after that, I can also create measures and calculated columns. So when would you want to use SSAS tabular model as opposed to using Power Pivot or Power BI? Well, I think for me, it depends who your audience is and where you're doing this. So if your audience is Excel, so I want to give somebody an Excel workbook which has all of this data, then doing it in Power Pivot sounds very logical. You just import in the data, you create the model, and then you can create the Power Pivot from the model. Power BI is best used if you are sharing your visualizations on the Power BI service. So you can create your visuals, you can see lots of visuals here, and then file, publish, publish to the Power BI service. Now the Power BI service does have a cost, around $20, $24 per user per month. All of your reports will be on the Power Service cloud on the internet. Now they are secure, so people need a login, a username and password to actually access your organization's Power BI service, plus the report will need to be shared with them as well. However, for some companies, putting reports onto the internet is a no-no. SSAS Tableau Edition, however, is an on-premises version. So that means all of your data is brought on-premises, so they may come from external sources, but they are then downloaded onto the model, and then people access the model from a server on your computer's network. Now, SQL Server is not cheap, but if you've already got the Enterprise or the Standard Edition, then you've already got access to one version or the other of SSAS. And if your company is not choosing either, then you can ask them to install SSAS Tabula. So this for me is the ideal scenario for SSAS Tabula. On-premises analysis. Not going to the internet and not being hosted in an Excel workbook. Instead, it's there available for your entire organization to use, subject to safeguards such as username and password. Now, if you want to learn how to create your own models in SSAS, then I hope you'll join us in our brand new video course. So if I go to our website, idodata.com, and then click on SQL, SQL Server SSAS Tabular DAX model, you'll see that in around six and a half hours, we'll install SQL Server on your own machine. So you can install the developer version for free and you don't need a server to install it. You could use your own machine. Then we'll create your first model. We'll develop it. We'll have a look at advanced pivot table functionality before creating calculated columns and measures. After this course, you'll feel confident in creating your own models, including calculated columns and measures. And a lot of this functionality is also offered in Microsoft Excel. So if you want to know more about that, go to Microsoft Office, analyzing and visualizing data in Microsoft Excel PC version, and then you can find out how to use Power Pivot. And also with Power BI. So go to reporting software, and the PL300 Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst, where you can find how to create your own models. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you now know some of the functionality which is available in SSAS Tabular and that you can use it in Excel and Power BI. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the like button and why not subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified of any new videos. If you want to know how to install SSAS Tabula version, then there'll be a video on the end screen. Please click on it. I'm Philip Burton of idudata.com. Thanks for watching.
and keep learning.